streets choked with your host Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, all right here. Oh, simply straight, simply straight talk. Hey, what's up? Yo, 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 are you busy? No, but listen, I got something to tell you. Uh, no, 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 honey. I'm about to spill some tea, and you won't believe it. Okay, I can tell you busting to get this out, so you go ahead and go first. Okay, you know last week when we went to Lisa and Andy's party? Yeah, what about it? Okay, well, you know how she was bragging about how they got that perfect love, and saying how other people are inspired by their love? I remember that. That was so annoying. Yeah. Well, today, I saw her at the cafe all boot up with this guy in one of those corner booths. Oh, snap. For real? Yes. When she saw me, she waved and looked at me like, please stay away. Anyway, she called me a few minutes ago talking about relationships are not guaranteed and some rubbish about this guy is just a friend in case things don't work out. Man, she is so fake. Now, wasn't that some good tea to spill? No doubt, no doubt. That was some seriously good tea. But I got something to add to your tea. What are you talking about? Remember when I told you that Andy asked me to stop by his office to look over his marketing project? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. What what happened? Tell me. Well, when I got there, he was working on another project. About 5'0", slim, with a miniskirt, and it wasn't Lisa. Oh, oh, this is getting good. This woman was sitting in his lap, and they were like two high school kids, like under the bleachers at the basketball football game or something. No, oh my God. When I opened the door, she just sat there. He introduced us, and then he asked her to step out. What did you do? I tried to play it off like I ain't seen nothing, but it was just so obvious. He just came out and told me that, you know, it's his side chick. Lisa don't know. He just wants to make sure his options are open and ask me to keep it under wraps with the man code. So, you know. You know, this makes me angry. Why? Because he got a side chick and she got a back pocket dude? No, because they act like they're just the perfect little lovebirds. Yo, wait, wait a minute. What's a back pocket guy? That's a guy that a woman keeps close to her in case the main guy in her front pocket falls off. So he kind of like in the back pocket, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. I have to remember that. Wait a minute. Are we gossiping? Because you know we don't do that now. Gossiping? No, 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 no. We're just discussing the behavior and mental health of people in relationships. (laughs) Now come on over so we can finish this discussion and you can also explain this man code. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Simply Straight Talk Show. Are you ready for the best talk show on this side of the world? Well, let's get started with the real conversation starter, your host, Reggie Maddox. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. This is your host, Reggie Maddox, man. And today we got another great discussion for you. This is going to be part two of our side chicks and back pocket dude discussion. Now, you know, last last season, we talked about the side check, the mindset, the back pocket dude. You know what I'm saying? We really kind of talked about the reasons people might want to be a side chick or a back pocket dude, the advantages, the disadvantages. But now we're going to dig a little deeper. On this show, this episode, we're going to tell you about the two types of side chicks and the two types of back pocket dudes. Because I think you need to know this. Because if you got a side chick or a back pocket dude, you need to know who you're dealing with. So that's why we're going to talk about that today, man. We're going to kind of break it down a little bit. Help you to understand the two types of side chicks. And maybe you need to decide what type of side chick you are or back pocket dude that you are. Now, if you like being a side chick or a back pocket dude, that's all on you, man. Ain't nobody here to judge you. Ain't nobody here to, you know, make you feel bad or anything like that. But the thing about it is, we need to be real about who we are. We need to be real about who we are. Now, if you a dude and you got you a side chick, or if you a woman and you got you a back pocket dude, then you need to understand what type of side chick or back pocket dude you're dealing with. You need to know 
who you got and what is the potential dangers or the potential advantages of the relationship that you are getting yourself involved in. So that's why we having this discussion today. Okay. Now, if you watched, if you listen to the first episode, okay, you understand that a side chick is mainly for a man. And a side chick is the woman that a man has outside of another woman who's in a real relationship. Okay. Now, the main woman doesn't know about the side chick, but the side chick kind of has an idea or sometimes doesn't know about the main woman. But there's two types of side chick and they both got different agendas. Now, the back pocket dude, that is a guy that a woman keeps in her back pocket just in case. The other dudes start acting up or if the other dude is not doing what he need to do, she got this back pocket dude to kind of come in and spring into action. So now with that being said, now when we talk about the side chick and back pocket dude, I'm not saying that I condone it. I'm not saying that I agree with it. Everybody is going to have their own way of living their life. Everybody is going to do what they want to do. Now, I don't condone cheating. Okay. Now, some people say, well, it ain't cheating. Your definition is your definition. But if you are in a relationship or you led someone to believe that you are in an exclusive relationship with them and you are with somebody else, I call it cheating. But hey, like I said, we ain't here to judge nobody today, man. We here to talk about this whole side chick, back pocket dude thing. We here to give a little bit of insight or what type of person you may be, or what type of person you may be dealing with. Because you need to know these things, man. I'm telling you, if you don't understand what you're dealing with, boy, you're headed for some real problems. So that's why we're going to break this discussion down today. Now, first we're going to talk about the back pocket dude. We're going to bring him up first. Like we said, the back pocket dude is that dude that the woman keep in her back pocket. He ain't quite on par to be the upfront dude, you know what I'm saying, to be the main dude. But he provide enough, you know what I'm saying, to where she keep him around just in case. You know what I'm saying? So that's the back pocket dude. So when the other dude start acting up or she needs a change of pace, she just kind of like reach in her little back pocket, man, pull the little dude out, make him feel good for a little bit and send him on his way. But here's the thing about it. The first type of back pocket we do, we're going to talk about, we call them dreamy. Okay. Now the dreamy back pocket dude is what a lot of women, you know, they mess with the dude, but they don't know what they're getting into because the women is like, listen, I got a main dude. You just fun. But see the dreamy back pocket dude. Now that's what we call them. These dreamy guys. Listen, these are guys that get caught up quickly with the simplest feel good moment. Because if you're dealing with a back pocket dude who's dreamy, you got to be careful. You can't put that thing on them too good. You can't treat them too good. You can't be too nice, too kind. You can't show too much affection. You know what I'm saying? Because in his mind, he starts putting you and him together like he the main dude. And even though he knows he's not the main dude and he the back pocket dude, he's trying to come out of the back pocket. Because he wants to maneuver himself to the front. Because in his mind, he's thinking, oh, she's trying to replace me with him. And we belong together. She loves me. She brought me eight pieces of wings. And just knowing, and even if you don't know, but you got to realize that, yeah, she might have picked up a few wings and a soda on the way over to see you. But her man probably got a full five-course meal sitting on the table. She just wants you for fun. You are something extra. That dreamy back pocket dude is always trying to put you two together in his mind. And he's trying to make it a reality. That's the way his mind works. His mind gets caught up. And the more you do that makes him feel good. And you can do stuff that's simple. You can do stuff that's like, not even real serious. You know, one of his watches may fall off the dresser. You may pick it up and put it back on the dresser. Oh, you dropped your watch. And his mind, oh my gosh, she's paying attention. She's observant. She cares about me. She cares about my possessions. I knew she loved me. And this woman, like, I don't love you. I just picked your watch up. But the dreamy guys are always trying 
to find a way to put him and the woman into the same category as in a full-blown relationship. They start wanting more time. They start to question everything you do. Start asking more questions about your man. Because now they want to hear that you're unhappy. And when they hear that you're not unhappy, oh, they start to get upset. They're not liking that. Oh, because now it's a problem. It's a real problem. Because now that they feel like you're not really into them like they thought, their whole attitude begin to change. But the dreamy guy, okay, yes, his attitude starts to change. But he just can't let go of the fact that he finds the smallest little things that makes him feel like you two, that you want to be with him. The two of you belong together. You know, he starts having thoughts about it. He starts telling you this stuff. Like, listen, you know, I've just been thinking maybe we should go to the movies or, you know, maybe we should go on a weekend getaway. You know what? How about if we start going to Puerto Rico? He wants to do things to really start making you putting him in front of the man that she's actually with. And he, he just totally forgets the fact that you're living in a dream world. You're living in a dream world. You are my back pocket dude. Okay. We don't do public appearances. Okay. We don't do two weeks or weeks vacations. Okay. We don't do all that. Okay. You are a two hour visit max. Okay. That's it. That's it. You're a two hour visit. You are stress reliefs relief but the dreamy guy the dreamy guy can't let that go man so you got to watch out for those dreamy back pocket dudes now let's move up to the let's adjust now to the woman's side the side chick now the first type of side chick we're going to talk about is the anti-upside chick now let me tell you something the anti-upside chick is dangerous this is a dangerous woman now this is a dangerous dangerous woman because the anti upside chick understands that we got an arrangement. I know you got a woman. I'm not trying to replace her. I'm not trying to be no part of whatever she's doing for you. All I need you to do is when you come over here, I'm going to make you feel good, but you need to take care of me. That means my rent need to be paid. My cell phone bill need to be paid. My car no need to be paid. I ain't trying to do nothing or do anything to be with you, to, to replace your woman. But you need to handle your business financially over here if you want to keep seeing this side chick. Because let me tell you something about the anti-upside chick now. Okay. The anti-upside chick is about her business. She ain't got no emotions. She ain't trying to get no emotions. But what she will do is make you feel good. She'll make you feel like you know, you special, you know, I care about you, but that's only for the time that you're there. And it's only in regards to how good you're taking care of her. She has no intention of being your main woman because you're probably not the main dude. You got to understand that you're, you're probably, she, she's probably your side chick and somebody else's side chick. But keep in mind, she's an anti upside chick. Anti-upside chicks are all about being taken care of. That's all they care about. That's it. They'll listen to your wife's problems. Listen, put it like this. Let me, let me break it down to you like this. Fellas, now we've all been to the strip club. Yeah, I've been to the strip club long, long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. You know, we, we've been to the strip clubs. And you know how the strippers operate. Or we'll say dancers, the exotic dancers. We know how they operate. When you go and sit at their table... When you, when you go and sit at a table, they come up to you, ask you, do you want to dance? As long as you got money and you flipping out for them dances, they'll sit in your lap. They'll talk to you. They'll laugh at your jokes. You know, they will just be so sweet and pleasant. You will feel like you got a girlfriend. You will feel like you got a girlfriend. But the second you get to the point to where she said, oh, OK, you know, you want to pay for another dance? Oh, my, 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 my money running low. I ain't really got no more money. Okay, boo bye. That's it. That's it. You, you, you're cut off. Okay, they're done with you. They're moving on to the next. 
That's the anti-upside chick. The anti-upside chick is all about the fact that you are going to compensate her for her time. The more you compensate, the better she's going to treat you. And that's it. Flat out, plain and simple. So you can sit there and you can waste the time talking about your, your girl. You can talk about your job. You know, I mean, she'll do it all, too. She'll throw a little something for you, you know, cook a little bit for you. But it ain't going to be no real meal. You know what I'm saying? She might order out, put it on the plate. You know what I'm saying? But that's the anti-upside chick. The anti-upside chick is all about the fact that like, this is like a business. And that's how they see it. It's a business. I got bills. Your purpose in my life is to compensate me for my time and help pay these bills. That's it. Anti-upside chicks are not trying to have no emotions. They're not trying to catch no feelings. They don't want you catching no feelings. They don't want you talking about staying over for long periods and all this type stuff. Because normally they got a lot more going on. And they stick to their guns. There, there is no emotions. There is no sentimental. You can be romantic as you want to be. But they will not reciprocate that romance anyway. They're, they're not. If it is, it's going to be something really superficial. Oh, well, let me do a little candlelight dinner. Okay. Two candles with some. But you can. You, you, you're going to buy everything that's need to be cooked or made in that house. You're going to pay for it. Oh, I need groceries. Okay. She'll get groceries. But guess what? you paying the groceries. you buying the groceries. Everything with her, you are going to pay for. But she sees it as this. Her time, her kisses, her hugs, her intimacy, all of that you are compensating for. The anti-up chick is simply give me what's mine. And I make you feel good. I treat you real nice. But you got to get up out of here. And don't bring no feelings with you. And any feelings you catch while you're here, take them back with you. Okay? Take them back with you. Because you got to remember something about the Annie Up chick too now. The Annie Up chick will kick you to the curb for somebody with bigger pockets. So when your pockets start getting little, and you start struggling and you start reaching, reaching and can't pulling that out. The least money you start pulling out, the further she's going to start pushing you back because somebody who got deeper pockets. Oh, man, she's going to put them right ahead of you. All of a sudden, you ain't she ain't returning your phone calls. She ain't really stunning you. It's too much drama. You know, she's trying to change her life, but she's just really trying to get you out the way to get them bigger pockets up in there. Hey, this is Reggie Mattis, man. You listen to the Simply Straight Talk show, and we will be right back. You know we got to take that commercial break, man. You know we got to give our little shots out and everything, represent those who support us. So don't forget, make sure you support those HBCU. And we're going to be right back talking more about the side chick and back pocket dude. We're going to tell you because we still got two more types we need to tell you about. Two more. And you want to hear this because you got to make sure that this is not you. And if it is you... Make sure you know you or who you dealing with. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. So keep it locked here with your favorite radio talk show. There are so many talented young men and women attending our HBCUs. Don't you think it's time we show them our support? This year, Reggie will be highlighting HBCU bands, dance teams, and sports programs. And we are inviting you to show your love as well by attending games in your area. When you buy tickets to attend these events, you are helping to support not only the programs, but the great minds of our future generation as well. We're back with the conversation starter and the voice that works harder. Your host, Reggie. All right, everybody, we're back. We are back. We are back. Listen, today we're talking about two types of side chicks and two types of back pocket dudes. Listen, if you're dealing with somebody on the side or maybe you that person on the side, you need to understand this because you need to listen to this because this could be you or somebody you're dealing with, and you need to understand who you're dealing with. Because you got to understand something, man. You got to understand who you're dealing with. So that's why we want to talk about this. That's why we want to get into this subject today. 
Now, we don't talk about the anti up chick. You know, it, it's pretty clear what the anti up chick is about. You know, before you call her, to, hey, can we kick it? Can we do this? You better be coming off some paper. That that's point blank. You're taking care of me. Ain't no emotions. Ain't no sentimental. If you want to call up, you better be able to ante up. Now, we also talked about the dreamy dude, the back pocket dude. That's the first type back pocket dude, the dreamy dude. This is the dude that just looks at life like, you know what? The slightest thing that she does to make him feel good, he's in love. He wants to replace the dude she with. That's the dreamy dude. Everything is just fantasized to the point of a Disney movie. But next, we got two more. Next, we want to talk about the back pocket dude, the kitchen porter. That's right. We call him the kitchen porter. See, this is the dude that works in a restaurant kitchen. He does like rudimentary tasks, you know, very small things. Really don't have nothing to do. He ain't really got no formal culinary training, nothing like that. You know, he does like basic food preparation, you know, washing salads, peeling potatoes. You know what I'm saying? Look, cleaning duties. But this is the dude that knows how to make a woman feel like, you know, he has more skills than what he has. He's got more, you know, knowledge and like he's that dude, you know what I'm saying? That all around dude to take care of her, make her happy. You know what I'm saying? So this back, this back pocket type dude is really looking for somebody to take care of him. That's what he's looking for. So he likes a woman that he knows. Okay. He knows that this woman is going to take care of him. So he's going to put on a little show. He's going to give a little, uh, what you call it? Like a little tap show and a little shoe show and tap dance to make it sound like, make it make her feel like, Oh, you know, this the one he got me. So the woman thinks she got a good solid back pocket dude, but this dude ain't really into her. He's not really into her. He's a small version of the anti up chick. He's a fake. The dude is a fake. He's good at perpetrating to be something that he's not. He's that kitchen porter that'll go and tell a woman he's a chef. That's what he is. He's the type of guy that washes dishes, peel potatoes, washes salads. But when he goes out and meet a woman, he'll tell her he's a chef. Like he's a Gordon Ramsay when he's nothing even close to it. But this is all of the purpose of a back pocket dude that will stay in his place. Ain't really got no issues, but he just really wants to be taken care of. Now, he don't require as much as the ante up chick. He just wants his ego stroked. He just wants to feel important. Now, this type of back pocket dude, he's really not a threat to your relationship because he's really not looking to be fully committed. You know, this type of back pocket dude, they sort of stupid because they think they're more than what they are. And they kind of like, you know, want to portray to you like you got this great thing. But as soon as you start putting a little weight on their shoulders, oh, they're going to run. They're going to they're going to run like a thoroughbred in a race because they're not trying to do all that. They're not trying to do all that. They just want their ego stroke. They just want to feel good. They want to feel like they're important. They want to feel like all the women love them. So they blow themselves up to be something that they're not. They exaggerate to their friends the few fake friends they got, but that's a, that's, that's, that's the back pocket kitchen porter. So women be careful. If you got a side dude and he's a kitchen porter and you thinking about leaving your man for the kitchen porter, you're going to be so disappointed because I'm telling you nothing about him is real. Nothing about him is real at all. This dude just simply knows how to put on a show. That's it. He's not really a threat to you. He don't want any real responsibilities. He don't want any obligations. The only thing he wants is his ego stroke, his attention, a little bit of intimacy. That's all he wants. But he don't want no added pressure or responsibilities. Next, this is the last one for the women. This is the last type of side chick. Now, we told you about the ante up. Now we got the displaced chick. Let me tell you something. This is a very dangerous woman. This displaced chick is very dangerous. Let me tell you something. It's quite clear that this woman, okay, if you got a displaced chick, put it like this. Her ultimate goal is she is going to replace your 
woman. No matter how much you say you love your woman, fellas, if you got a display side chick, her objective is to outdo, outshine, and replace the one you with. Put her out of her usual or proper place. Take her place. Supplant her. Remove. Outsource. The displaced chick goal is to replace that main chick. And she's going to do it at whatever cost. Because ultimately, she kind of observes how you treat her. She starts catching feelings. And she starts to feel like she wants more time. She's kind of like the dreamy back pocket dude. I said, she's a little more aggressive about it. Because... She really wants to take that place. She feels like she's giving you her body. She feels like she's giving you her time. She feels like she treats you better. She feels like she's a better woman for you. Not knowing that, you know, you probably forgot things about your woman that you feel much better about her than because she's just a side piece. But she don't want that. She wants to be that main woman. This is the type of woman that will pick up the phone, your phone now, Get your wife's number and start texting her, sending her pictures, following her on Facebook, following her on Instagram. She'll start knowing stuff that you don't even know. So you got to be careful because the displaced chick has an she has an agenda. She has an agenda. And that agenda is to replace whoever you're with. And she will do whatever little things to break up your relationship. Leaving hair on your shoulder, putting something in your pocket, a note, leaving something in the car, leaving making sure like little crazy messages get sent out, put you in awkward position so you have arguments at home. The displaced chick is strategic and impatient because eventually she's going to lose her cool because she's going to get tired of waiting. And that whole thing about, yeah, I'm just trying to prepare. I'm going to leave her and marry you. The more you tell her that, the worse you're going to make the situation. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if she feels that you are leaning her on to the, a real opportunity to be the main chick, she's putting all weapon systems on launch and she is coming. She wants that main chick out of the picture. And if you decide, that the displaced chick is getting too serious and you try to push her away, get ready, brother. I'm telling you, you about to have an all out war because she's looking to break up your marriage, ruin any relationships. Look, they will go so far as to even come after you at your job. They will cause problems on your job. You know, you got to be careful when you messing with a displaced chick because a displaced chick catches feelings. And they want that wife role. They want to be that main chick. They want to be the woman. They want a ring on their finger. They don't care if it was another woman's house. They want that house. They want that car. They want your last name. They want that life. And they will not stop to get it. So a displaced chick, a displaced side chick, she ain't trying to be no side chick for too long. She trying to be that married chick, that main chick. But she's not going to want no other side chick. Not remember how she got you. So you got to be careful when you go out to them displaced chicks now. Listen. When we start talking about side chicks, back pocket dudes, y'all know people, things happen in relationships. Relationships get tried. Tensions get hot. You know, you say things you don't mean. You know, you might be having a bad couple weeks or a bad couple months in a relationship. Then all of a sudden, you know, somebody just seems to come along and just seem to say the right things. You know, it seems like they understand what you're saying. But do they really understand what you're saying? Or are you just telling them everything that you want them to hear? And what you're receiving is that they're agreeing with you. See, because I find a lot of people do that. But we're going to talk about that a little bit more with the final thoughts. We'll be right back, right here on the Simply Straight Talk Show. We'll be back with your host, Reggie, on Simply Straight Talk. Hello, Simply Straight Talk family. If you are enjoying this episode, at the end of the show, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. And why not share this with a friend? Also, visit our blog at newlifenewmind.com, where you can find additional articles on more great topics. 
Stay tuned. The show will continue right after this message. Are you ready for the straight truth? Reggie, what's the final word for today? Hey, everybody, we're back for the final thoughts of today's show, man. And today we talked about the two types of side chicks and the two types of back pocket dudes. You know, the side chick is that extra woman that a guy may have on the side. And the back pocket dude is that extra dude that a woman may have on the side. We talked about the displaced chick, the Andy up chick, the dreamy and the kitchen porter. Listen, I understand relationships can get tough. And I understand that sometimes it can be hard to deal with the person you with. Now, I would never condone cheating because I come to realize, man, that I've had my heart broken several times and it's never a good feeling. And it never puts the person that was hurt on a good path in life. Now, when it comes to the side chicks and back pocket dudes, people going to justify why they do whatever they do. You know, the side chicks will justify why they feel like, you know, they want to be a side chick. The back pocket dude will justify why he wants to be the back pocket dude. But the key thing to remember is when you're dealing with emotions, sometimes you can kind of mislead yourself into thinking that something is good and it's really not. Then you want to blame the world or blame other people when your whole life gets turned upside down. When you come to realize that that good chick who you really should have kept was the best thing that happened to you. Now you stuck with a side chick that just driving you crazy or you just stuck with a back, a back pocket dude, man, that's just really worthless. Lazy. Ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? We can always get caught up in the in the moment, especially when it comes to love, when it comes to emotions, when we feel like we're just empty, we're missing something, we're not getting something. You know, we tend to kind of, you know, drift towards the most comforting thing, whether it's good, bad, right or wrong, because at that moment, we just want to be comforted. We just want to forget. But How you choose to uh, get your comfort may not always be the best decision. Like I said, man, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to critique anybody. We've all made mistakes in life. We've all played different roles in relationships. But the key thing is just be honest about who you are. Know who you are. Are you a person that fall in love is easy? Are you a person that just wants somebody to take care of you? Or are you a person that's just basically fake and live your life through a, a fake mirror and lens that you try to show everybody else how they want, how you want them to perceive you? You know, you got to be careful. You know, are you somebody who feel like you can't get your own? So you want to take somebody else's be careful how you treat people in life. But most of all, be real to yourself. Be real to who you are. Respect yourself. Respect who you are. You never know what good things God has ahead for you. But I tell you what, though, very rare. And I really don't believe that when you steal something that you get something good, because if you stole it from somebody else, best than believe somebody else can steal it from you. Hey, thank you for joining us today, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Y'all join us next Friday, man. We're going to drop a new show. We back in the flow. We going. This is the third episode. So join us each week. Join us next week for the fourth episode. Man, I don't know what's going on with my voice today. But hey, I appreciate all the love and support, man. Once again, everybody, thank you for checking out the show, man. Thank you. YouTube is picking up. You know what I'm saying? We're getting more downloads. So I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate the fact that, man, the show is really expanding outside of the United States. So I love that. I appreciate everybody, man. Everybody. Like I said, thank you for your support. For those who really do listen to and support the show, thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, we about to bounce right now, but get ready because we're coming with another hot one next week, baby. And don't forget, man, much respect to Angelique. You know what I'm saying? She's the one that does the show intro scripts with me. Much respect and love to her. Beautiful woman, beautiful spirit. Love you, Angelique. So with all that being said, man, catch you next week. Thank you for tuning in to today's show. Be sure to subscribe for more motivational topics based on real-life conversations. And don't forget to rate, review, and share our show so we can continue to bring you the best in real-life conversations. Join us next week right here on Simply Straight Talk.